Pep Guardiola makes surprising Champions League claim after latest Manchester City collapse. Pep Guardiola has claimed that Manchester City's owners have not told him he must win the Champions League. This of course comes after the Sky Blues' latest collapse in the competition, which saw them concede two 90th-minute goals versus Real Madrid before then losing that semi-final in extra time. That collapse is just the latest in a long line of mishaps Pep has had in the competition, for the most part, since leaving Barcelona. Despite this, Pep was keen to ensure that the Manchester City owners have not told him he must win the CL. Last season, we lost the Champions League. It was 13 games. We won 11, drew 1 and lost 1 he said. If we lost the Champions League, was it a bad Champions League season? Absolutely not. This season we were in the Champions League semi-final again. We want to win the Champions League, of course. But when they called me they did not tell me we had to win the Champions League. Not even the Premier League. They said they wanted to be competitors in all the competitions until the end, to be a team that for our fans is nice to watch and wins as many games as we can in all competitions. That is why they knocked on my door to come here. And we did it. There is no doubt in all competitions, we did it. The people who play against us know, they are good. They run, they fight and they bring their opponent to the limit. This is when you become a solid club. A club you can rely on. For sponsors, fans, people who want to follow us when they switch on the TV and want to watch Man City. The honesty of these players and this team has been quite remarkable for many years. Given that the Champions League remains the only trophy to elude Pep in Manchester, question marks will continue to hang over the Spaniard's head, with his detractors keen to suggest his time at City as a failure if he does not win the Champions League. However, given how much the Spaniard has dominated the English game, it is hard to argue that he has actually had a bad spell in England. But, when it comes to conversations around the all-time greatest managers in the Premier League, it is harder to make a case for Pep to take the number one spot without a European trophy.